You're the one who came back and did more of this with me. <laughs> <laughs> you backed me into a corner. Did I? Yes. Oh. The man in front of me was a pretty face spoke. The man in front of her with a pretty face spoke indifferently and didn't even move an eyebrow. <laughs> Sorry. I can't read. It's late. <laughs> this is for the best. After I'd spoken with Hanbei, I thought to myself as I walked down the hall aimlessly in the castle. He must have thought it wasn't good to do something so festive in a time of war. Why are you reading my, my, my dialogue? She convinced herself that that must have been the reason why. The man he had replaced was dead. I couldn't remember his real name or face. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Is that what would have happened? bringing this on. Is this what would have happened when I was, like, engaged to you and, like, if I had died? Uh huh. No, I would Even if Takanaka Hanbei reverse. was your fiance, you had only met him yesterday. <laughs> what? Well, that's not surprising, actually. Actually, it might have been better that he brought it up first. It wasn't rare for two unacquainted people to get married, but it would have been painful for you. When I look at him, I couldn't help but think about my real fiance. You know what really bothers me it, about every time the word fiance is on screen? It, it's misspelled? Yes. Yes. That's really misspelled. It's finance. Yes. So I don't think I, I, I think from this point forward, it's no longer your fiance. <laughs> it's fiance. He is now your finance. <laughs> My finance. It's All like right. your financials, but different. <laughs> okay. He was dead, and I couldn't even remember anything about him. Well, you said you never met him before, so why would you remember anything about him? For all you know, that guy is actually your fiance. Finance. Finance. Because when the hallway ended and you went out onto the veranda, you... And when you went out onto the veranda facing the courtyard, once again, that is not a sentence. Nope. The hallway ended and I went out onto the veranda face. Oh, no it is. I misread it. Masamune, who had just tried to take the rabbit to the kitchen, was now shooting a bow and arrow. At, at the, the rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> Fist bump. He looks like he's busy. I wonder what had happened to the rabbit. Did he make it into a stew? No, he said he was going to boil it. I guess that, I would make stew, right? That's how you make stew. She cooks. Never. Oh, I cook sometimes. How many stews have you made? None, but yep. do you even like stew? Yes. Oh, I didn't think you did. I'll make you stew. She somewhere. felt like changing her mood, so she called out to him. Masamune! Masamune turned his head after hearing me and casually bowed. Man, these men casually bow at me a lot. What happened to the bunny? Arr! I let it go. He had an awkward smile on as he spoke. You must think I'm still just a child. Arr! That is true. But no, no, not really. You're lying. I can see it on your face. Really? Mm, that's troubling, Yar. Masamune smiled as if he were trying to calm a child down. I felt a little annoyed. Wasn't there anything I could do to win against him? No. As I thought to myself, I saw the bow Masamune was carrying. That's it. Let's see who's the better archer is. Let's but see who the better archer is. I think I said that. <laughs> huh? I may not look like it, but I have practiced archery. I'll test my skill after all this time. I had actually never lost an archery challenge to anyone in the castle, because <laughs> I'm a badass. I thought you were going to say, I had never actually taken an archery class in my <laughs> life, and I was screwed. <laughs> well, they might have gone easy on me, because I'm a princess and that's what you do. But you're injured. It might make it worse, Yar. Masamune frowned. Hmm. Now that he mentioned it, a demon had cut my chest. I thought you cut the chest with the dagger. I have no clue. Okay. I slowly put my hand on my chest. Yeah, girl. And felt myself up. Yeah. The events from last night resurrected in my mind. Oh, they're, re they're resurrection. Mm-hmm. Ah! See, look they're kind of cool looking. I mean, look at that face. It's really just like a monster head on a really, like, buff body with clawed hands. Oh, I can right click and get things. The burning castle, the gruesome face of the demon approaching me, the stench, their howls. My body shook. It felt like the sun had suddenly become covered in darkness. 
Those are called clouds, you dumbass. Princess, what's wrong? Masamune sounded worried. I do, very worried. I just remember something that didn't need remembering. Huh? I'm trying to tell you that you don't need to worry about a scratch like this. You can relax. Let's have a proper match, Masamune. I was venting my anger as I smiled and ordered him. Yar, don't tell me what to do. I'm Bitch, I am the princess. Do what I say. Yar, I'm a pirate. <laughs> so? So I don't do what anyone else tells me. Aren't pirates just like... I follow my pirate way. Oh. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Yo ho ho. And I would sing the One Piece theme, but I'm afraid of copyright. And then... I lost. <laughs> he didn't even get to see it. Oh, the art. The... Oh, you know what? Also, I was thinking after we had done the prologue. Oh, uh, what? Um, because I feel like I've seen this in other. Uh huh. I'm listening. Um, other games that we've watched other people play. Hmm. Why haven't we got to see what I look like yet? I mean, I get that it's the Mary Sue, and you're supposed to put yourself into the position, and like... Oh, I'm all up in the position. Uh-huh. I'm sure you are. I'm being serious here. But <laughs> normally, there's at least, like, some kind of art to be like, hey, this is your generic self. Because they're normally pretty, like, just, like, generic looking, you know? But we haven't got to see what I look like. How will I know what I look like? I- I lost! I said that already. You just didn't click. I know, but your voice is- you, you, you said you were gonna try to do the really girly I, voice. I- it's hard for me to do. I don't have a really girly voice. Because it was a serious match. The bullseye on Mazamune's target was filled with arrows. Which was, of course, all a metaphor. Of course. For something else. Anyway. What's this? Is everyone in the date household? Is everyone in the date household is good at archery? I don't speak good. <laughs> is ev Yeah, okay, I'm reading that right. Is everyone in the date household is good at archery? Dateo. You hit the target splendidly, princess. You have an amazing arm. I have one really buff arm. <laughs> hmm, am I Fed up with empty flattery. Which which will Mazamune like? He, I don't know. Ah, I uh, cannot make these choices for I'm you. I'm gonna thank them for now. Thanks, even if you're just being nice. It makes me happy to hear that. I said that, but I might might as well try to get better. I thought I should hide my tomboy side. I thought I should hide my tomboy side as my wedding day was close, but archery was really fun. Wait, I thought women in Japan, that was like a traditional sport for them. I thought so too. I mean, once again, I don't know if that's necessarily a Warring States period thing, but I, I thought that, like, women's archery was big in Japan. I thought so too. That was right. Masamune, can you help me improve my archery skills? Arr. What? You want me to train ya? Yes. Masamune was dumbfounded. He must have thought I it was on a whim. How come? We're in the middle of a war. I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. Even though help had arrived, the battle with the demons was still going on. If I was drawn into a corner like I was last night, I couldn't just sit there shivering. I feel like a more interesting game is going on somewhere else. I know, right? It might help if I improve my archery skills. I didn't want to die yet, but I was more afraid of seeing someone die in front of me again. Hmm. If only we'd got to see that. Right? Masamune frowned, and I gazed at his face. You, you won't help me? I didn't say that, but... Can you kill a living being, Yar? Dot. 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 Can you take the lives of your enemies? His voice was strict. Yar. Before my eyes, the events from last night started to appear. The grotesque being approaching me. 
the slimy, shimmering skin, their putrid breath on me. Their frightening, blazing eyes. I couldn't do anything, even with my dagger. Mazamune, what are you saying to the princess? One of the vassals became enraged, but I held him back with my hand. Yo, yo, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 yo. whoa, whoa. Bro, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing to the princess, it, yo? It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. What he said was right. Yo, bro, I don't appreciate that. I was weak. I fully knew that after what had happened last night... Do you try persuade again? Persuade him one more time. Still, I want you to train me, Masamune. I might not be able to shoot a demon down, but if I'm prepared for battle, I won't make a clumsy mistake. I couldn't do anything. It ended without time for me to feel regret just like that night. I want you to teach me archery. That way, I won't falter if I come across a demon. Hmm. After looking at me for a long while, Masamune nodded deeply. Mm. <laughs> Very well. I'll teach you the basics of a blunderbuss. Wait, what? <laughs> really? He's a pirate. He has a bow. Yes. I won't say it again. But my training is very strict, you know. I don't mind. That's what I wanted. Nevertheless, your manner of speaking is uncalled for, bro. You can't address the princess like that, you know. I'm gonna go with Nobunaga on this one. Well, I totally requested it. And who could be a better teacher than the archery master himself? Damn it. Strike two! Oh! It's the prince, bro! The vassal bowed. Mazamune, Yukimura, and I were the only- and you were the only ones standing. It was painful watching him as he came closer to you. Why? Yukimura. He was my brother's replacement. Oh. He was a friendly person. But I didn't know how I should interact with him anymore. Okay, now I just want to take a moment and cover each of these guys' heads. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much physical difference is there? Uh, Masamune's arms are slightly buffer. Are they? I think so. Okay, fair enough. Alright, if we ever play Sakura, we'll do the same comparison. Okay. And that one I'll have to edit. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Mazamune. Oh, wow, what happened to the accent? Uh, your voice is tired? Uh, it probably is. That is fair enough. Right. Yeehaw. Sorry, Mazamune. I see it totally has been giving you trouble. See, I had to, like, I had to yeehaw to get Ye into you it. You did. You had to yeehaw to get into it. Our princess. Ye Prince. Sorry. Yukimura, the vest, it distracted me. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Masamune talked to Yukimura with a strange look. It was like something was in his throat. <clears throat> but it told you. Didn't y'all say you were gonna stop acting like a tomboy because of your, uh, y'all, uh, getting hitched soon? Mmm. This man had the memories of my brother, after all. My memories were hazy, but I was sure I told that to my brother. Did that mean it would be best to act like we were real brother and sister? It totally. No, now's a good time to tell you about my engagement. We decided to stop it. Yar, y'all cancel it? I talked with Hanbei a little while ago, and we agreed to act like the engagement never happened. What? Nope, oh, sorry, that was the southerner. What? Yukimura got red in the face, and Masamune's eyes were wide open again. Wait, wait, his eyes were wide open? Plural? Both of them? Yes, the one under the eye patch was also wide open. Okay, okay. Well, that, that's so sudden. Dude, the engagement was sudden. Yo, you've been engaged for like ten years. Yeah, but we just met. It is, but I think it's for the best. It's not the right time, and Father has accepted it. 
Hmm, sorry. Arr, but weren't you in love with Hanbei? Arr. No, man. Yo, yo, bro, yo, you've gone too far with Mas. Yo, you've gone too far, Masamune. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight you. The vassals became angry again, but Yukimura waved his hand as if they were being a nuisance. Oh, bro, bro. That's the prince. They have to like listen to him. Prince Sama, bro, bro Sama. He's bro Sama. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, fine. I forgive him. If you guys keep cutting in, we'll never finish talking, though. It's fine, so just stand down. Yes, bro Sama. <laughs> they couldn't do anything because of the prince's orders. The vassals who were originally there left. Well, that's Only doing something. They left. Only the three of us remained. Uh-oh, you're all alone. <sighs> oh, yeah, threesome. After they put in, I lost the will to get angry at you. With your brother. Why? Well, okay, he's not my brother. Um, we've established <laughs> He's this. your brother from another mother. Still not my, like, biological brother. Fine. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say anymore. <laughs> Yukimura scratched his head and then looked at me, shrugging his shoulders. Oh, right. So what I was going to say is, he's upset that I called off my engagement, like... Dude. That engagement had, like, secured him so much finance. He was going to get cows, he was going to get silver, he was going to get, like, a fleet of ships, and now that marriage isn't happening. When he inherits the castle, it's on your head. You've brought great dishonor on this house, and I'd say you brought great dishonor on the cow, but now he doesn't get the cow. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you'd bring up the, I was, the dishonorable cow. I was going to bring up the dishonored cow, yes. Judging by your expression, you really don't mind ending that engagement, did you? No. No, I really, 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 oh, really didn't. It's not that bad. I just, I don't know, Hanbei just just doesn't do it for me. Is it because of the voice? No, no, it's, I just, I, eh. Instead we got the two guys who look the same. I know, it's a little disappointing that they're so similar. Right? Yes, that's right. I was actually grateful. That way, I didn't have to marry some man I didn't even know. Also, I'm very sorry I'm not a size 22, by the way. What? I'm sorry I'm not a size 22 like either of these guys. That, They're they're a little too skinny, to oh, be yeah. fair. All right. Arr, I see. Well, if the princess is fine with that, then no one has the right to deny it. Well, that's true. It looked like Yukimura had something else to say, but he gave up and shrugged his shoulders. Mm. After that, he smiled mischievously and put his hand around Masamune's shoulder. At any rate, you sure are talkative today, eh, Masamune? Uh, I thought so, too. I'm usually, um, quiet, right, Yukimura-sama. Masamune looked troubled as he gazed at Yukimura. Lovingly. Yukimura fumbled his words. He was troubled too. Aww. I love the expression changes. <laughs> it's like a fade. Uh, I think you were pretty, uh, pretty quiet. Not, not any other kind of pretty. Just pretty quiet. You know, I'm just using pretty here as a describer, an adjective, if you will. Of the word quiet. I did not mean pretty in, 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 as a I different... I don't really ship them. I am... Um, that is irrelevant at this <laughs> juncture. And shipping has nothing to do with it. We are not bringing naval commerce into this. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> um, I have a feeling you weren't as well. You know, the pretty quiet thing. Don't look at me like that. Click the darn button. <laughs> Arr, which one am Oh, you know, he is a cap pirate captain, so shipping might be more appropriate. Mm. Yar, which one am I? Don't attack me when you don't even know yourself. So if these guys... I am find traveling all over the south right now in this accent. You really are. Right? So, so when these guys figure out that they're not actually the men who they're supposed to be, are you going to change their voices? We will see. All right. <laughs> 
Masamune let out a deep breath. I mean, I'm sort of going with the accents with the assumption that this was their accents from their previous life, and that's why he's got a southern accent, even though no one else in the family does. Oh. Yep. Good point. Good and, point. Yep. See, there you go. Okay. I'm are you thinking. Gonna, are you going to let out a deep breath? <sighs> Thank you. Arr, moreover, I'm having trouble using the correct words, your highness. No matter what I do, my mind wanders and I say rude things, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, he hasn't really said anything rude. Masamune really did look perplexed. Doesn't he, though? He does. Yukimura was baffled as well and scratched his head. I don't mind, but nope. on the other nope. hand... Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have you been waiting to do that? <laughs> no. I think I might have murdered him, folks. <laughs> He's just... dying. <laughs> was, it, was it that funny? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Oh, I don't mind, but on the <laughs> other hand, I'm peaking. I'm peaking the audio. Sorry, I don't mind, but on the other hand, it feels strange having you act so humble, humble pie. Then again, that might rub some people. Not me. You're not rubbing me. There'd be no rubbing between the two of us. The wrong way or the right way. There's gonna be no rubbing. Like I said earlier, no rubbing. What do you think, Atola? You agree with me, right? Eh, I couldn't answer, and my body stiffened up. It, it is I... right. Your body is stiffening. My body is completely <laughs> <laughs> is completely limp. One hundred percent, no stiffening. So, I have no idea what's going on anymore in the sea. <laughs> Oh, I do. I know exactly what's going on in this scene. There's no way I could tell them that it was the work of an apparition. The small demon inside the dagger told me he'd gathered great heroes. Masamune might have originally been in a high-ranking position. If Yukimura thought it was weird hearing Masamune speak humbly, they might have been acquainted. This sorcery might have actually been very dangerous. It totally... No, no, it's it's nothing. I pulled myself together and spoke to Masamune. I, let's see. Uh... So do you want him to speak, you know, to your brother formally? It, I, I would assume that would mean if we were actually in Japanese, like his language would shift. Right. Or it doesn't matter. Now keep in mind you're trying to get in his, like, your know, really high-waisted pants... So, what do you think he would like? I think he would like it doesn't matter. Okay. Don't worry about what the vassals say. I'll beat them later. There's no point in listening to them when you, when they aren't in a higher position than you. Oh, wow, classic. People will naturally bow down to those who are above them. Wow, princess. Right, Yukimura? Yeah, I guess. Honestly, I don't really care about that stuff. The peasants and whatnot, they can go eat some dirt. <laughs> Yukimura already told you his opinion, so you should do whatever feels natural. Especially now that you're going to be my archery teacher. But from nothing, now on. But nothing, nothing too natural. Keep in mind, you know, you, there should be certain boundaries that are observed. Masamune fixated his single eye on. Oh, me. now it's a single eye. I like the pattern that's on his eye patch. It's a rose, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe? Arr, are you telling me not to worry about it? Yes, that's right. Hmm. Why are you staring at me like that? Did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking how kind you are not to obsess over the little things. Don't give a shit about the peasants, but I don't obsess over the fact that the vassals, like, don't like the way that you're talking Yar, to us. Yar, whatever. Masamune smiled cheerfully with his eyes closed. 
Leave the archery lessons to me, yar. <gasps> All right, that is. We completed chapter one. We did. You have, no us. You have like ability. <gasps> Sweet. You are nine percent likable. Screwable. Oh. I was gonna use another word, but that would be inappropriate. It's that's very inappropriate. Ah, uh, we are on to chapter two. Imaginations from the other side. All right. How you feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired. You're a little tired? I think I think we should call it there. All right. And we'll come back with chapter two. Next time. Next time. All right, folks. If you have enjoyed, please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Um, otherwise, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Atoli. And we will see you in chapter two. Bye, guys.